I hope this message finds you well and enjoying the waning days of summer break. In case you don't know me, let me introduce myself. I am the Croton Harmon Superintendent of Schools, Deborah O'Connell. Because I'm relatively new at my job, however not new to Croton Harmon, I thought that producing a series of videos would help us get to know each other better. We're calling this video series Croton Harmon on the Move, and I will check in with you periodically throughout the school year with updates on how we are doing in Croton Harmon and what strides we're making in a number of areas. Although the new school year doesn't begin until September 4th, many of our students remained busy throughout the summer, taking summer school classes at both CET and PVC and attending summer camps. I am sure everyone has kept up with their summer reading that have been assigned by our teachers. Throughout the summer, Croton Harmon continued to make facilities improvements at all of our buildings. You may have seen the work being done at CET, where heating and ventilation improvements have been made to the third and fourth grade wings, and sidewalks have been replaced. In addition, we have resurfaced the track at Spencer Field. At Croton Harmon High Schools, crews repaired retaining walls at the front of the school and near the driveway and parking lot. At PVC, we repaved and made sidewalk repairs, repaired a retaining wall and outdoor stairways, and are constructing a brand new indie lab on the second floor. We are very excited about PVC's one-to-one -one Chromebook initiative, which will kick off this year with our incoming fifth grade students. This means that all students at PVC, beginning with our incoming class, will have an assigned Chromebook that will belong to them during their PVC experience. The Chromebooks will provide students with full access to anytime, anywhere technology as they need it while they are in school. Students will not be bringing the devices home with them, but they will have that device as their own throughout their time at PVC. Because our community generously supported our Capital Reserve Fund vote in June, we are also poised to make some dramatic improvements to our lunch program. The plans currently call for the construction of a kitchen at PVC, where lunch for all three of our schools will be prepared. A lunch service area will also be created at CET, and meals will be delivered to CET and the high school, which already has a cafeteria service area. This summer, our staff has been actively engaged in professional learning, writing curricula, reviewing rubrics and assessments to get ready for your students on the first day of school. As the new superintendent on the block, I have hosted a series of coffees and conversations where I have met with community members and staff. I look forward to reviewing the feedback we received from our school quality survey. At Croton Harmon, so many people are responsible for helping us to build on the good work we have already achieved. And I am proud to say that this work will continue under my guidance. Before you know it, the school year will open. Mark your calendars for Tuesday, September 4th. We will see you then. And in the meanwhile, think, create, reflect, respect.